I think they're really different. I think we are much more preoccupied with our children every second of the day. Are they safe? Are they learning? Are they getting enough out of this moment, this class, this instant when we're supposed to be bonding? And we're really afraid for them all the time. And, and it's not just me thinking this. You know, you get to a certain age and everybody thinks, oh, the good old days. We stayed out. We had fun. We, we played outside until the street lights came on. But the proof that things really have changed in just about one generation is that um, if you go get the DVD of uh, Sesame Street Old School, it's a two DVD set of the early days of Sesame Street, 1969 to 1974. And you see all the stuff that we sort of associate with childhood. You see kids on trikes, you see kids playing follow the leader and there's no you know, accredited PhD trained follow the leader leader, it's just kids. Um, you see them playing in a, um, a vacant lot and balancing on the beams and climbing through the um, pipes and stuff. And before you see any of that, what I consider normal childhood, my childhood, um, a, a warning appears on the screen at the very beginning. It's not a joke. And it says, the following is intended for adult viewing only. Adult viewing only. They cannot endorse a normal childhood the way they did back in 1970. That is now considered radical, crazy, dangerous. And uh, you know, I have a friend who's a lawyer there. And frankly, they debated it, and, and they were afraid of getting sued. What if, God forbid, somebody goes out and plays by himself? They, they weren't willing to take that risk anymore. And what I'm interested in is, why is that considered risky, considering the crime rate back in the 70s and 80s when most parents today were growing up and playing outside till the street lights came on, that crime rate was higher than it is now. So if it wasn't risky then, or wasn't crazy risky, wasn't nutty parents who didn't care at all about their kids, sending their kids out and you know, never caring whether they came home or not, if they weren't terrible, if our parents weren't terrible, why are we considered terrible if we let our children ride their bike around the neighborhood or walk to school. Really, people will scream at you if you do that with your kids. I think there are four reasons that we're more afraid today than our parents were or more concerned. Uh, the first is that the media has changed. My parents were watching Marcus Welby, the people lived. <laughs> they didn't sue. It was a, a, a cheerfuller time in terms of television. You didn't have Nancy Grace. You didn't have CSI. You didn't have anything as disgusting and revolting and scary as Law and Order SVU because the old Law and Order just wasn't scary enough. The children weren't small enough and cute enough. So media changed and it also became 24 hours and ubiquitous. So you were always seeing now a child being snatched off the street. That's just the number one story that television has figured to put on whether it's a drama or news. Another thing that's changed is that we are in a much more litigious society. I'm sure this doesn't come as a shock to you. but so many things in childhood are considered too dangerous because, God forbid, what if? We're always what ifing. And what if a child fell off a teeter-totter? Well, let's just get rid of them, say the park districts. And what if um, my kids were going on a fifth grade field trip, the overnight field trip, the one trip they take into nature all year? And the assistant principal had us in the auditorium, and he was explaining the trip. And when he said, and at the end, there's this night, you know, everybody's asking, what phone number? How do we get in touch with them, et cetera, et cetera. And he said, he's trying to just deflect everybody's worries. How close to the hospital? He said, hey, 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 look at on the last day, on the, on the overnight day, um, we make a big bonfire. And everyone's like, bonfire? You know, you could just see them speed dialing their lawyers. And he said, wait, 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 no, let me just explain. The, the bonfire, the children will be 20 feet from the fire, and there will be a row of benches, and I'm assuming these are non-flammable benches, between them and the fire. So that's childhood today, preparing for any kind of a terrible eventuality, the way lawyers always think back and say, why was she so close to the fire? So we're always thinking to the courtroom and stopping something, even a bonfire with kids around roasting marshmallows before it begins. And I just have to tell you one roasting marshmallow story. Girls and Girl Scouts are not allowed to roast marshmallows unless they have one knee on the ground.